I am sure that you have seen applications or even written applications that allow you to download files. So what's the big deal? Of course, uh, we you can you can even have a static file. You can a, link to that static file, and that static file will be downloadable, right? That's pretty common. Uh, we all download, you know, executables, binaries, PDFs, CSV, JSON files, TXT files, everything, right? But you can even uh, generate, um, dynamically generate some some of these files, most of these files, uh, on the server. Uh, you can have a PHP page or a Node.js page or C Sharp page or whatever, some server side route that generates the file. That's uh, pretty common. But did you know that you could also generate files on the client side? That's what this video is about. Generate downloadable files in the browser. Never touch the server, never hit the server, do it entirely. If you have the data to generate that file dynamically in JavaScript, on the client side, in the browser, then you never have to go to the server. So um, why would you want that? Well, you have all the information, the data that you want. It's in the browser. You're looking at, say, a customer record, or you could be looking at a data table. And you could download a CSV file of that data table. You could have configuration that you want to download as a JSON. You never have to go to the server. Or you could have some, you know, uh, some general information that you couldn't download as text. You can even, there are some advanced PDF generation libraries that can actually run in the browser, do the file generation, and then make it, let you download that from within the browser. Now, you know, yes, so that obviously saves you so much trouble uh, creating a server side route to generate these files. Okay, and of course it's also faster, and the, and you are using the the client's uh, computing power. So what do you need to know to accomplish this? You need to know the Blob API and the URL API. In reality, the trick is very very simple, but very very powerful. And you may or may not know. If you do know, congratulations to you. But if you didn't know, then this will be a revelation. And it's amazing how easy it is. So let's get started. So. Um, here I have a test project. I will open a new file. I will call it index.html. I'm not using any special JavaScript, uh, um, you know, tool sets or anything, uh, or, or libraries or, or frameworks. Okay, so I'm just using whatever is is uh, straightforward, um, plain HTML, okay, and JavaScript. So let's call it client side file generation and download so the first part let's just put this also as a heading one and first you have to put in an ahref uh, link so we don't have href at this point i'll just give it an id of a1 okay and we will give it some text of down download text file okay now at this point, if I save it and view this file, let's reload, okay. Client side, file generation and download, download text file, but there is nothing to download. You you cannot even click on it. Why? Because it has no a href. So that's where our code comes in. And we let's create a script tag. And we will, first we get handle to our, um, our a anchor. So document dot get element by ID and we'll let's a one right so that's your you got handle to the uh, a tag now a one dot you just this is the whole trick you have to assign it an href but before you can assign an href you have to create a blob new blob and then the blob takes an array as its first parameter and second parameter is the MIME type and other options. You can say type equal to text plane, let's say, so, because we are going to, but this first part, the array, uh, it can be multiple strings. So it could be hello space and then download exclamation, right? You could break up your string in parts like that. Uh, why would you do that? Well, maybe it's, a, it's something that you're getting piecemeal whatever the reason might be. Now assign this to blob, let's say blob one. 
and then um, let's uh, a href now from this blob you have to create a url so there is a url api and that has a, a method called create object url and that you give it the blob and that's it it will take the blob convert into an object url and you will see what that object url looks like and you are assigning it to ahref so let's uh, save this i saved it and now my link became a link and as i'm hovering on it if you can see on the bottom left there is the uh, very funny looking um, hash coded url let me click on this link now i click on it i see hello download wow my first string was hello space and the second was download exclamation sign and this is the object url okay that it created everything is great except that this isn't actually a download it's a file that opened in my browser and replaced my page html page so to fix that it's a very simple fix all you have to do is say in the a tag add an attribute called download and give it the name of the file that you want to download as so i will call this you know, uh, file1.txt, okay? Save it, and now, when I come back here and click on this, it actually downloads as a file, file1.txt. And when I click on this file, it opens as a downloaded file in my default text editor, and it has the same information in it. So, it's that simple. Uh, I hope you, you get the power and the usefulness of this which is uh, you take any a, um, a tag you create a blob which has you, you put some data into it with an array keep in mind it has to be an array even if you had only one even if you had a single um, string like this it would still have to be an array okay and then you create an object url from that blob and assign it to a href that's it. So uh, let me show a better example. Uh, how about a CSV file? That's uh, imagine that we had a table. And now I'm, I can sit here and, and create a table for you, or I can just uh, copy paste some code here. So here, here's the table. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste it. So that's the table. Okay. So let's see what does the table look like here. All right. So this is column one, two, and three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this is the table. And imagine that we have that table available to us as uh, a JavaScript array. So here's my JavaScript array. I'm just going to paste it again. So that's your data. So it has column one, column two, column three. And imagine that, yeah, let's make this capital seal because that's how our, our table shows. Okay. Now, if you want to make this downloadable, all you have to do is write a function that will concatenate these values into a CSV file. So let's write a function, call it make CSV, and it takes some rows, let's say, and as it gets the rows, it will return, it will take the rows and then map them first. It will take each row, right? And um, what are we going to do? Yeah, so we, we are going to take each row, row and um, join every cell. Yeah, that's what we will do. So we, we have a row and we will, uh, this is the row as an array. Remember, this is an array of arrays, so row. And then join each cell with a comma as a separator. And then we will take all the rows and join them all together with new lines. So all we are doing is we first we are joining these with a comma and then we are joining these with a new line. So two step process. Okay. So that's that gives you a CSV, right? Now we can simply create. Let's just uh, repeat this process. Uh, let's uh, duplicate our a link, which is way up here okay that's my a link and then i am duplicating it i will call this one a2 the download file will be file 2.csv okay and the download and then the title will say csv file okay 
and then I am going to basically repeat all the same steps roughly the same and this time my a link is called a2 its ID is also a2 my blob will be called blob2 and instead of uh, giving it this text I will I still give it an array but inside the array there is one element and that is ma calls make CSV with the data that I have and that is going to return the CSV string and then I don't really need the text plane or application CSV not, none of that is really needed because my link itself has a dot uh, the download file is dot CSV extension so that will take care of it um, now finally a2.href is equal to url dot create url blob2 that's it so now when i come back here i have this table and here is the link i click on the link the click the link downloads file 2.csv now if i click on file 2.csv it will open in the numbers application which is the default uh, spreadsheet application on mac so i click on that and there you go this is file 2 it has the same columns column 1 2 and 3 it has the same data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is exactly this data so this is and as you can see this i'm doing all this in simply in my browser there is this project has no server side there is no framework there is no react or svelte or um, you know view or angular on the client side or, plus of course there is no server side there's no php node.js nothing and i'm uh, creating csv files downloading them i'm also creating text files uh, like here and downloading them so isn't that powerful um, if you knew about blob api once again uh, that's very nice um, you're pretty knowledgeable uh, but if you didn't now you know and this is very useful because now you don't have to write server side routes you can do this entirely on client side you can generate json configs csv files txt files pdfs you can even generate calendars for example uh, there are libraries ical that generate ical files uh, which these are like calendar invite attachments and you let them download add to calendar and you click they click on it and it opens up in the calendar adds to their calendar so i hope you learned something uh, see you in the next video